Hi guys, welcome to the review of the Axiotron modbook. Uh, this is the original modbook, which is the uh, first ever Mac tablet. Um, this particular review, again, will be based on artist's perspective, uh, maybe some slight mention of technical specs, and overall just use of the tablet as an artist would use it for a standard sketchbook. Okay, so let's get started. Um, First, uh, this piece is something that I actually built completely digital. Um, and as far as how uh, well it responded, um, I'd say overall um, it did a pretty decent job on capturing the actual um, gestures of pen and pencil. Uh, again, you know, you learn as you go. So as I was building this particular piece, uh, I learned from, you know, various mistakes and various techniques, uh, rendering and using uh, the different uh, types of brushes that Manga Studio uses. Um, uh, let's talk about form factor. This particular machine is uh, pretty uh, hefty, pretty heavy uh, as far as thickness goes. Um, I do have a screen protector on it, also, um, you know, to avoid scratching it and I would say overall for this machine based on it being an actual uh, Mac operating system is fairly decent. Um, this particular machine that I bought uh, at the time that I bought it um, I had them install a 6 gig uh, RAM for it and uh, some people say that for uh, Apple Mace machines they don't normally use 6 gigs but if you go into the actual preferences here and I look under performance uh, you can see that the memory size let me see if I can zoom in a little bit the memory size says that um, it's using four over four gigs about four and a half gigs out of the five gigs that are available so, and I have that at 97 so if I were to bump it up all the way which is at a hundred it's using five gigs out of the six gigs so it does well use over the four gigs at least according to this um, also uh, let's talk about sizes or I guess uh, brush uh, accuracy I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in so you can see how uh, centered the actual pin is and I guess I'm looking at the camera right now while I'm actually drawing and I'm seeing a lot of little lines that are popping up when I'm actually looking at the mod book I'm not seeing this but apparently the camera is picking up this um, as far as resolution goes or the visual resolution of this one you're going to need some type of additional um, secondary monitor to work with this one but as with most tablets you're going to need that anyway um, you're going to want to use one to, and to do your reference to uh, or at least to understand why or how thick and how, how thin you're actually making your lines as you go from actual um, visual presentation to full render of the image and what I mean by that is that you're going to need your secondary monitor to basically make sure the thickness of the lines that you're using are being consistent so that being said I've also connected this tablet to a secondary monitor and I'm zooming out and I'm having to lift the camera so if it's a little bumpy I'm sorry but you see here that I have the full rendered image on an ASUS IPS panel and uh, the reason why I bought this one again was just to have as a secondary monitor for all my tablets um, and hopefully get a more accurate representation of what the uh, graphic will look like digitally in full view. Let's go back to pen accuracy and I'm going to zoom in here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. You'll see that that pen is actually sitting dead center Again, I'm going to try my best to zoom in. So you can see that that's actually sitting on the center. And no matter where you tilt it and how you tilt it, it's there. And I'm pretty zoomed in, that's why it looks really, really pixelated. But this image is a 300 res, it's um, 13 by 19 inches uh, when you actually go to, go to print. Um, and again, if you zoom out and you look at the actual visual representation of it over here, 
you'll see how small those lines are. The actual form factor for this particular machine isn't that great. Um, I wouldn't consider this a tablet that you would have necessarily on the go, although you could technically use it on the go. Um, another thing I, I, I guess I fought for a long time was that, um, and here I'm just drawing lines so you can see that I'm, it's going along with me. There's no lag, you know, I have no problem with that. And, um, uh, one of the things about form factor, so for this one, uh, it does heat up. Um, there's definitely uh, fans blowing in there right now as uh, as I'm working. Um, you're starting to hear them, or well, I can hear them start wearing right now. But um, for people who already have uh, Mac software and don't want to do the transition to PC or use any type of tablet that is PC based, you know, this is one of your options. Um, the other one, the other option would be your ModBook Pro. Uh, I haven't actually used the ModBook Pro, but I know it suffers from the same scenario of it heating up. Also, uh, the weight is still generally the same. It's still about a little bit over 4 pounds, um, so it is, uh, in essence, heavy. And on top of that, I guess the worst pa part of it, uh, more than anything, is that... Uh, the screen itself is still this is what hinders it the most is that you know it's still that dull looking screen you'll go to some certain angles and it's just gonna wash out completely so um, being those those things why would you get a mod book um, again if you don't want to make the transition from PC uh, I mean from Mac to PC this is one of your options you can still retain all your uh, all your um, software Mac software and still have an actual tablet that's generally on the go um, can be used as a one of one of your main computers I would say um, one of the reasons why I'll say that is because I'm going to go ahead and show you how far I can bump up the brush and it'll still maintain its uh, performance and what I mean by that is that you don't see any lag as I'm drawing no matter how fast I'm drawing it's keeping up with me Right now I have that at 120 pixel brush. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 400 and let me zoom out a little bit so you can see how much lag it has and you'll see that even at 400 pixel brush it's still keeping up with me very very well. Um, also I'm bumping it up to 896 and you can see that it's holding up very well. I'm going to go ahead and undo most of this. So then you can see how how big you can actually go without any type of um, problems. Uh, I'll bump it up to 2000. It's the biggest brush that you can pick on manga. And now you're starting to see like at 2000. So if I put it at 1024, you can see that it's keeping up pretty well. I mean, uh, considering. Um, if you compare this to a PC, uh, you probably won't get to a thousand pixel brush, anywhere close to a thousand pixel brush, and actually have this kind of performance. So overall, in general, it's doing a really, really decent job of keeping up. Um, again, accuracy is very, very uh, well done on this one. Um, there are some, you know, workarounds that you have to basically download to make that accuracy as, as sharp as possible. But other than that, I mean, the majority of it is, is pretty good. Now, again, my whole thing is uh, actually having some kind of functionality on buttons here, and I don't have that here, so I'm having to actually use a keyboard to do shortcuts, et cetera, et cetera, which, again, form factor-wise, it's not ideal for me. Um, one, of the, one of the things that this tablet has, and even the ModBook Pro has over, over the majority of the tablets, is that it does have a uh, DVD drive. Um, how useful that is nowadays, uh, well, you know, if you have CDs and that's how you're actually loading up your your software material, well then, you know, it's ideal for somebody who just needs to connect it right away. Um, what else can I say to this? Um, I guess I can talk about the uh, tech specs of this one. Uh, for this one, uh, it's running the 2.3 gigahertz Intel, Intel Core 2 Duo and it also has a 6 gigs of RAM as opposed to the standard traditional 4 gigs of RAM. If you decide to buy one of these now, uh, I guess through Gainsaver.com, which is one of the guys that I, one of the companies that refurbishes uh, these machines, you can get a refurbished uh, modbook, um, and it would probably just max it out at 4 gigs, and it'll probably cost you close to a thousand, maybe I think 1,200 somewhere around there. 
So uh, at the time when I purchased this one, this was easily uh, I think uh, 21. So uh, two th almost double a thousand dollars more previously, but uh, now that it's aged, obviously it's come down about a thousand dollars. And uh, I would say overall performance-wise, it's pretty decent. Uh, I really like it. And again. I wanted to actually, for this particular uh, review, show you something that's done completely digital. Um, there's no uh, actual hand pencil or hand drawn uh, any scans or anything like that. This is more just draw beginning to end, rendered completely beginning to end, uh, fully uh, digital on this particular, uh, I guess, artwork here. And again, Zooming in on this, I know you can see the colors look very, very dark, and uh, I guess, you, again, you have to look at this at a certain angle to actually see how, how well it's done. You have to be at a certain angle to actually make um, the view a view that you can actually look at. So I don't use this at all in any reference to actually what the visual looks like. I always refer back to the uh, um, secondary monitor over here to show you what the actual representation of the digital file is going to look like once it gets to its final uh, production stage. Um, what else can I say? Uh, overall, this is probably the more ideal tablet over the Modbook Pro in question to price. And as far as question of performance, well, obviously this one's very dated. Uh, it's not going to be nowhere near as fast as the newer machine, but if you have Manga Studio and, and even Photoshop, to be honest, uh, you can run that, that those two programs with no problem on this particular machine. Um, what else can I say? Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I hope this review is uh, somewhat uh, okay. Um, also, I want to mention this. Uh, this particular pin that I'm using is the original Axiotron Studio pin. Uh, it pretty much works with any tablet PC. Uh, I really like it because of the form factor on this particular pin. It's um, ideal f if you're used to using an Intuos pen. It's uh, almost similar in weight, uh, very similar. It has the secondary uh, button, uh, the two button axis here, uh, has that nice little grip here, uh, and of course a pressure sensitive uh, eraser and pressure sensitive, of course, tip. So um, they don't sell these anymore, so if you were lucky enough to get one of these Axiotron pins, um, keep it forever because that will be the more ideal pin uh, in reference to actually using for drawing. Uh, that will also be part of my other review. Uh, I'm going to review a bunch of pins and uh, show you the differences in uh, usage and functionality. hope you enjoyed this review, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.